All right, brother, this is my review of the WWE Defining Moment, Hulk Hogan. Hogan? Hulk Hogan. Brother. This is another figure that I've had for a while, and I just now got around to reviewing it because uh, it just hasn't haven't been feeling all that good, but I'm feeling okay right now. And uh, it's a pretty cool package. It got this picture of Hulk Hogan on the side there. Picture of these little goofballs. There's a description on the back talking about WrestleMania 3 where he fights Andre the Giant or wrestles him. And uh, same pictures on the other side. And the package is alright, but I kind of like the way he's posing there. Like, Rrr. and uh, I like the way they did it back here. It's like his uh, ripped up shirt. And well, let's open this guy up. Alrighty, he's all opened up, and I think he's a really cool figure. I do have some problems with him, but it's really cool that they may finally made an elite Hulk Hogan and he's got like his classic look. So that's really cool. Because that's I've been really picky about the WWE figures that I buy. I just certain ones that I just want and some that I don't. I buy very few of them. It's just like mostly like classic ones and back from the eighties and nineties and then maybe some of the Attitude Era ones. Not much else other than that. But I have Ultimate Warrior figures, and I have the Macho Man Defining Moment, which is awesome. And I got like Undertaker, a few others, Andre the Giant. So I just had to have Hulk Hogan. He just—he's probably the most famous, most popular wrestler there ever was. I mean, there's others that came close, Stone Cold, The Rock, but I just seems like back when wrestling was popular in the 80s and 90s, Hulk Hogan was just huge. He was everywhere, and I really liked him as a kid. I thought he was awesome. Um, later years, I didn't like him as much, and then there was the whole reality show, which, nah, but still, back then, he was awesome. Um, he only had like a couple moves, but nah, that's all he needed. <laughs> um, but I'll go with the figure now. I see one of the things that bugs me is, I mean, I guess this is how he wore his band or his uh, headband at WrestleMania three or whatever. I don't know. I guess, I'm assuming that's why they put that there. They said this is the WrestleMania 3 version, but I just don't like that because he usually has a full bandana on, or at least just like a bandana put on straight, like it is on the side of the package. Like right there. He either has it like that usually, or it's a bandana covering his head completely, which I'd say that's more often where it's completely covering his head on top. So I'd just rather have that than, than this little thing. Uh, he also comes with this necklace, which I don't even remember him wearing now, but I guess he did. I'd, just don't ever really notice. Um, he comes with a belt, which is cool, because he was the champion going into that fight. And he comes with a shirt that has a rip open action. Wow. <laughs> that is kind of cool that you can make him do that. I guess you gotta try to fit his fingers on there somehow. Can you do it? Pretty sure I've seen somebody posing him like that. Hold on a second. There, it kind of looks like he's ripping his shirt off. Maybe it was Fu that did that. I don't know. But yeah, it's, that's kind of a cool feature. It kind of looks funny when you try to make it look like it's not ripped because you can see the line very easily. Um, I do like the back though because he always had them cuts in there. I wonder if he did that himself <laughs> or somebody in the worked at WWE cut it for him. Or I guess that'd be WWF back then. Well, I guess I'll point out the thing that Fu mentioned that is really off with this figure. It's just not right. And I know the Zombie Cat. I thought Zombie Cat would notice right away. I asked her if she saw something wrong with it. She didn't get it. But she's the one that always points it out about Hulk Hogan. It's his skin color. I mean, he's got like really, really dark tan, like too much tanning, like leathery skin, like really bad. Um, but he doesn't look so tan here. He looks maybe a little tan, but not as tan as I picture Hulk Hogan to be. So that's one thing is. The skin tone isn't exactly right for me. Another little problem I have with him is his height. Because most of these WWF and WWE figures, whatever, they're to scale with each other. The tall guys are tall, the short guys are short. And Hulk Hogan's a tall guy. He's like, they bill him at six foot eight. He's probably a little shorter because, you know, they bill him bigger, all of them. But still, he's one of the bigger guys. He's taller than most of the people he wrestled. And let's say Ultimate Warrior and Macho Man are pretty average, but uh, Ultimate Warrior figure is actually a little bit taller than Hulk Hogan. Macho Man is pretty close, so that's just 
not right to me. And my figure is made from a Randy Orton figure. And yeah, Randy Orton should be a lot smaller. So that just kind of bugs me that Hulk Hogan is not the height that he should be. But it's good that he's still shorter than Andre Giant and The Undertaker, because he should be. And these are two more of his famous opponents, Undertaker and Andre the Giant. And like I said, this is supposed to be from the WrestleMania 3 where he fought Andre the Giant. He also had a big match with The Undertaker, except that The Undertaker had gray instead of purple. And he also had a really big match, what was it, WrestleMania 4, I think? Or was it 6? I forget. But, um, with the Ultimate Warrior. And that was a really big match. And I would say out of all these guys, Macho Man's the one he has the biggest relationship with. Either an enemy or a friend, him and Macho Man go back and forth all through their careers. So Macho Man's probably the most significant to Hulk Hogan out of these guys here. Now as for the likeness, I think the likeness is really good on Hulk Hogan. Like, that really looks like his face. They got the mustache down perfect, they got his chin, like, they even gave him his receding hairline, which I know, I remember some of the older figures, and like in the cartoon and stuff, they gave him hair like it, he wasn't balding, which I always thought that was stupid. But yeah, I'm really happy with his, his sculpt, his likeness. And the rest of his body, you know, it's probably one of the reused sculpts from something else, I don't know. But it, it looks like him. Like I said, I just wish the skin color was darker, and like Fu said, uh, he's got his red knee pads and his yellow boots with the white laces, and also he's the elite figure, so he's got the extra posability, which is awesome. That's which, why do they even make them standard figures? They just make them all elite. Oh, another thing you can take off the bandana; it's not stuck on there. But then when you do, you see those little holes in his hair, which looks kind of funny. So, I don't, I don't know if I like that. And there he is without a shirt on. Okay, I'm a little... I'm not sure if I like the sculpt of the chest on him. Because I just... Something about this makes him look a little smaller than he is. Because he's a big guy. He's like, his muscles are huge. And something about the way they did his chest here just makes him look smaller. It kind of bugs me. They might have did that because of the shirt. They wanted his body to be smaller so the shirt would not look too bulky on him. That could be why that is. They should have just gave him a cloth shirt. Here, I'll just, I'll just show you his little necklace. It's a little cross. Got a chain on it. It's detailed for such a little thing. I kind of wish he had interchangeable hands because he needs some fists. Like actual fists to do his Hulk Hogan poses where he makes fists and like, you know, he's always doing his little poses like, Rrr. But it looks kind of funny with his hands open. So, it'd be nice if he had alternate hands. But, don't get me wrong, I really like this figure. I'm glad he made it. I just, you know, I'm just pointing out the things that bug me. Here he is attempting to slam Andre the Giant. And, he's either trying to slam him or he's filling him up, I don't know. But, I just like when Lex Luger body slammed Yokozuna. It's a really quick thing. It's like, yeah, slam, <laughs> really quick. Like, obviously he couldn't hold him up very long. And they probably helped him jump a little. But, yeah, yeah, that's the way wrestling is. Here's a look at the belt. It's really nice. Kind of sucks they had to put just WW. Couldn't put the WWF. Man, that really sucks. I couldn't believe they lost that. Lost the right to use WWF. WWE is still, even after all these years, just does not sound right. This should be WWF, damn it. So... This mystery will tease, and I think this is a really cool Hulk Hogan figure, defining moments, and it's not perfect, I got some problems, but it's still really awesome. Maybe they'll make a different one from another day, maybe the, I don't know, maybe they'll make the one from WrestleMania 4 or 6 or whatever that is where he fights Ultimate Warrior, that'd be a cool one. So, well, this mystery will tease, thanks for watching, and goodbye. You know something, brother? No one's gonna stop the three of us. What you gonna do, brother? What you gonna do? I think what we need to do here, brother, is reciprocate the potentiality of destroying the consequences and ramifications of your attack on us will not go unrevengeinated. Oh, yeah, brother. 
Stop using big words, Macho Man. Hulk Hogan, you cannot tell the Macho Man what to do because he has to explore the cosmos of his mind and find a unicorn to ride to the moon and discover his potential, his potential to beat all of the other people that challenge us in the ring of desire. I want all my little Hulkamaniacs out there to say their prayers and take their vitamins and snap into a Slim Jim. Oh yeah! No, not the Slim Jim, that's bad for you. Oh yeah! Slim Jims are the best food you could possibly eat in the universe. They contain meat and unicorn horns and the heartstrings of dragons and they will make you the strongest warrior to ever walk the face of the planet. That's right, brother. We're coming for you. Oh, yeah. You got to play 24 inches for whatever inch my point on your head. Oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Oh, damn it.